All right, in this problem, we are going to find the derivative of this function. The function is f of x equals, then we have in parentheses, x plus 1 divided by x minus 1, and the whole thing is being raised to the third power. And the question is to find f prime of x, which is the derivative of this function. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So we're going to start by using the chain rule. You can think of my finger here as the inside function. So all of this is your inside function, and then your outside function is like, you know, x cubed. So we're going to use the chain rule. We're going to take the derivative of the outside, leave the inside untouched, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. So f prime of x. So taking the derivative of the outside, so we'll bring down the 3. Leave the inside untouched, so x plus 1 over x minus 1. Subtract 1 from the exponent then times the derivative of the inside. So for this inside derivative, we have to use something called the quotient rule, which I'll write down over here. Uh, the quotient rule says if you have two functions, and unfortunately I'm going to use the same letters, so f over g. Think of f as your first and g as your second or bottom. It's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom 1 squared. So this is the formula that we're going to apply here. So it's the derivative of the top, which is just 1, times the bottom, which is x minus 1, minus the top, which is x plus 1, times the derivative of the bottom, which is 1. That's right? because the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of negative 1 is 0. So over the bottom 1 squared. Let's go through that again. So taking this derivative, we're using something called the chain rule. The chain rule says that you basically take the derivative of the outside leave the inside untouched, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. So all of this here is the derivative of the inside using the quotient rule. So taking the derivative of the outside, we use the power rule. The rule says that you bring the number down and then you always subtract one from the exponent. That's the power rule. So if it was like x cubed, right, if it was just x cubed, and you took the derivative, it would just be 3x squared, which is what we have here, right? 3x squared. That's like your x, right? Except the chain rule now says that you multiply by the derivative of this inside piece. So now we have to use another rule because the inside piece is complicated. It's a quotient. So we use the quotient rule, which says you take the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom 1 squared. We can clean this up a little bit. Let's keep going here. So we have f prime of x. We have 3. Let's break these up separately. So we have x plus 1 squared over x minus 1 squared times, and then on the bottom here we have x minus 1 squared. And let's see what's going on here. We have x minus 1 minus x minus 1. So we have x minus 1 minus x minus 1. We're distributing the minus 1 there, distributing the 1 here. All looks good. Continuing, we have f prime of x equals, let's see, I'll leave this 3 out front. Uh, these go away, these go away. We get a negative 2 here. Right, so we've got, uh, let me just write it like this. Let's write it like this, x plus 1 squared. Show an extra step here. I was going to skip some steps, but times, uh, here we have negative 1 minus 1, so we have negative 2 over x minus 1 squared. So now what we can do is we can multiply this negative 2 uh, by this 3. That's going to give us a negative 6, and we can put that in the front. So f prime of x is equal to negative 6 times, and then we have x plus 1 squared over, and then we have x minus 1, and then you add the exponents when you multiply these because the base is the same. It's x minus 1. So this is going to be x minus 1 to the fourth power. And that, my friends, uh, is the derivative of, of this function. So that's it there. So hopefully you learned some math. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If you want to learn math, I have all kinds of math courses mathsorcer.com. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.